Okay, looks like we're in Pleasant Valley. We start here by the waterfall. So what's going to happen is I'm going to run straight down here, straight down this river, not uh, not down this one. Well, could I get? Yeah, you know what? I'll run down here. Grab a few of these. Okay, so where I started, right up there in those little spot there, and there's a uh, there's a maple up there, so that's a good thing to remember. Although Pleasant Valley, uh, one one of the benefits of this place is, uh, I mean Pleasant Valley really does have everything, although it's really spread out and hard to kind of get all the benefits from at, at the same time like whereas on like uh, Crystal Lake or, or Mystery Lake you can you can just uh, you know you can you can find a spot where there's there's hunting and fishing and uh, you know cattails and everything all just in one spot right one location so you can kind of gather food and live in that area you know successfully anyway or as successfully as uh, Interloper will let you. Um, now I could could get up here, get up over here, um, and I will soon actually, because I haven't paid attention to what the temperature is out here. I don't want to be, uh, but I just don't want to run past a bunch of calories, you know. So, this is the very beginning. See, now if I run over here, I'm going to get the, uh, there's the barn and such over here, and up here is the, uh, I think, if I'm not lost, which, which could happen, because Pleasant Valley is... Uh, it's uh, I I know the areas I know and I kind of stick to them because uh, this place is scary and it looks like the weather's turning on me so I really don't have time to dawdle and grab cattails anymore so I'm gonna get a move on here okay there's the signal tower way up there I know where I am there's a bear cold is making my head feel thick yeah yeah you know what actually would probably make your head feel better as if this dead body up here had a uh, scarf on it. Usually there's not wolves here. I say usually because um, if you've played this game for more than a couple of hours, they'll show up in the darndest spots. Like there's one on the ice down there. He's sometimes there. That's He's not an all-the-time kind of person. Good, good. You've got a hat. You've got a scarf. feather. Look at this. Got myself a hat and a scarf. Okay, so I'm not really interested in mingling with the wolves that are on the front lawn all the time. You know what? I, there might be antiseptic in the uh, in the farmstead. But there might not be. So the first thing I like to do when I start in Pleasant Valley is uh, restart the game. Just kidding. The first thing I like to do when I uh, start in Pleasant Valley, of course, is is get to one of the major, major places. And uh, usually because of the, I think the spawn points, there's only a couple of them. One by Skeeter's Ridge and one by the Waterfall. That I know of but when I they kind of puts you in a spot where if you know the right way you can get to the farmhouse 
So there's the farmhouse, and I'm going to skip out and around, try to avoid any wolf encounters in this orchard, and uh, we'll see you up on the porch. Unless something crazy happens. Oh, look what I found. Dog food in the doghouse. That's really rare. I've only come across that on Interloper once. Wait a second. Yep, that's the bird eating the skull. That is Interloper. It's just, you know, I, I just found more loot on the front porch of the farmstead than I have in the entire dam on Interloper before, so it's kind of... I thought maybe I'd screwed up and picked Stalker? Uh, no. So... So no, I did not. Aw, oh, I went inside just as the music started. Okay, so let's actually just... I'm just gonna stop here for a quick sec, take a look at the clothing. This hat... We'll wear here, and then we will wear this. Yeah, it was wet. I thought they would be frozen laying out there. Well, that's good. He's got head covering. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it is food. Well, yeah. Yeah, you can eat it. Okay, let's see if we can find some sardines maybe in there. Oh, there's some peaches. The sink peaches. No can opener. That, that's a really favorite spot of a can opener to sit. They love that spot. Migratory. Okay. Ooh, there's my bread recipe. Now I can make bread. Which is one thing you actually can't do in the long dark, which was interesting. Where were you at 338? Hmm? Yeah. So I've been playing this game a lot as uh, on my uh, my one interloper run, and now she's broken all the. We'll save the cupboards for for later when I can't see as well, maybe or when I'm starting to worry about calories. But I'm playing my one interloper lady, and she's been breaking all the records of my last interloper run, the one uh, that got wiped out by the. Uh, Ooh, by the update. Let's see, sometimes a can opener likes to hide out in here too. Yep. Oh, yeah, there you are. There you are. We will be losing no calories. Oh, that will come in really handy. We'll be losing calories on our dog food now, our precious, precious dog food. See, the cool thing is, in this house, Oh, a piece of firewood. That can stay right there. Um, cool thing about this house is some books. They'll come in handy. I'll collect them later. Ah, oh. well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I was hoping for gloves and not that vest. Because that vest usually means that there is not going to be a... There's a soda there. The vest means there's not going to be a ski jacket upstairs for me. What have we here? Ooh, painkillers. That's handy. That's really good. Now, I'm not going to... If I find the hacks on the basement, I'm not gonna, just going to turn around and, and summit. Um... I mean that's all well and good and, and it's it's actually an easy it's an easier time because you know you just wander around do that a couple of times and you got yourself a snow shelter right so oh, how, how warm is it in here oh well let's let's put that uh that vest on there see if we can pump up the temperature all of this stuff is just broken Okay, so still hoping for some gloves, although gloves are the easiest thing to make. I just don't want to wind up with cab uh, cabin fever, with uh, frostbite. 
Yeah, see, there's no, sometimes there's a ski jacket underneath the, uh, the bed here. But that sports vest downstairs usually indicates that you're not going to get a, a ski jacket. It's kind of like the finding the hammer in a uh, fishing hut on, on Timberwolf. You won't find the hacksaw. It's time to pack up and get out of Timberwolf. Because all the benefits, of course, of staying in Timberwolf really kind of revolve around the... They all kind of revolve around the hacksaw, really. So she's had a really good time, actually. Or she. This is a he. He. That'll come in handy. Yes, it will. Holy cow. Just want to check this out really quickly. Okay. So after I craft that, so this is very important. I want to hurry up up here because if I can get in the basement soon, it'll be still well lit because when the it's like the sun gets to a certain point and then the light really gets into the basement nicely and I wouldn't want to miss a magnifying glass or something like that so early in the game hmm. well okay gloves Fleece mittens. Come on, fleece mittens. Not asking for much. I think I can use this. Oh. He's going to wear that sweater until he's done this run. Okay, good. So check the bathroom, grab the water, and on down to the basement. Tasty, tasty toilet water. Nothing but the best. Be having a dinner of dog food and toilet water. It's gonna be gonna be magical. It sounds like the weather kind of went south while I was in here. Oop. But yeah, I left that door open, I think. I'm fairly sure I left that door open on that uh, sun porch out there. Because having that door open stops you from getting horribly... Eh, do I take it all right now? Yeah, yeah. We'll start the countdown how soon I absolutely have to make a fire. So I've gone out the front door and then they, and I got that bear on me right away and was able to run inside into here. So check the kitchen cupboards when I come back in. Oh, no, I shouldn't close that door. The, yeah, it's best to leave this door open. Scrap metal there. So yeah, I, the reason that I survived and didn't get, well, not survived, because you usually survive your bear attack. It's just it's what I would call a serious setback. Here's my matches. I hope they never change that, the idea that you have uh, um, a, a static spot where you can always at least find 12 matches on any given map. And that way, you know, kind of helps your survival. Like, I mean, Mystery Lake, you're very rarely... You very rarely get matches in Mystery Lake. But usually... Usually I find a magnifying glass. Which, when you couple that with matches, 
you can you can get yourself a pretty good uh, a setup for an almost indefinite run of fire. That was my whetstone. It's always want to start that collection early. Oh, a shooting guide. I'm not even going to waste the time with the weight. I have real books for burning upstairs. Okay, so no antiseptic. So I was glad I grabbed that. That uh, old man's beard lichen. I hope I don't have to use it, but uh, I'm just glad I have it. All right. Sometimes there's a pack of matches in here. Which is an amazing start to have that many matches. So, um, oh, I I wanted to say this. This stuff will come in handy. Sure. Let's keep putting on our clothes. This is actually my third attempt at uh, starting in Pleasant Valley. My. Yeah, this thing, it's. Yeah, those, those are just as bad as a hoodie. My. Uh, my first attempt at Pleasant Valley, I, uh, I got myself eaten by a, a wolf uh, within 10 seconds of starting. And literally, I started up near Skeeter's Ridge and uh, ran right into the one wolf that hangs out by Skeeter's Ridge. And the wolf that hangs out by the basement there, uh, he was also there. So those two wolves kind of chased me. And uh, one of them went into attack mode. And even though I managed to evade him, until he stopped attacking me and uh, his his stamina bar went or whatever it is because they kind of you can kind of get them to stop for a bit after they've gone into charge mode if you run far enough away from them but they're still actively searching you because uh you know what i'll i recorded that so i'm gonna i will put that on there i'll put up the uh it's a three minute interloper video of me bailing in, in Pleasant Valley really quickly, really quickly. I got eaten almost immediately. It was, it was pretty good, actually. See, there he is. I don't like the front lawn bear at the farmstead, but... What can you do? Okay, so the sun's about to set. He'd probably be good here overnight if I wanted him to survive, say, his first day. We're just at the farmstead. But I feel confident. Oh boy, here we go with the feelings again. But I feel might be able to find gloves at the farm. Something for my hands. Possibly work gloves. Come on. Big money. There's some hungry people that lived here. I tell ya. Okay, because I probably won't need calories. Because well, I can sleep in the barn, but I've only got five degrees of uh, temperature protection. So, 18 and a stick. We've got 18 cattails, something to read, some matches, lamp oil, cloth. Hmm. If I had picked up another couple of sticks, and I believe I can, I can make a torch without making a fire, so then my first, very first fire, oh, that's a great idea, my very first fire will have, uh, be able to start it with a 100% torch, that's good. It is good. Okay, it just sounds god awful out there, and I'm not exactly sure I can make a run to the farm without getting blizzarded. In the wind's high like that, I like to kind of lay low. I just 
eats your warmth. That's amazing. That's that's one thing. It's just so quickly. Okay, here it comes. So I'm gonna wait out the blizzard, get some sleep, and then tomorrow in the morning we will run to the uh, barn over there. I want to do the barn. Because last time I ended up running into Forlorn Muskeg. Which I I have to admit, I love me some cattail Forlorn Muskeg combination. But to make my tools last time. Here, I like, it's funny, I've, I haven't found the hammer yet, but I'm already planning my tool run. Um, okay. So I want to go to Desolation Point. So going to the barn would be a good second step. Okay, first step is, yep, okay, so tomorrow we go to Signal Hill. That is what we're doing. Tomorrow I'm going to Signal Hill, and uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow in the morning after this uh, horrendous weather is backed off. After I've picked up a couple of the books. Not going to try any of that... Uh, LMG book sorcery where you change different books into the same book. I know. Because this. That's like. That's voodoo. I just. I can't involve myself with that. So. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow in the morning after the blizzard when we head to Signal Hill. Looks like, or sounds like, sorry, weather's not going to be cooperative right away. So, we may have to wait here a, a couple of hours, maybe do some light reading. Uh. Oh, no, no. I'm just going to go inside this neighborhood is just a little rough you know take my frustrations out on this box hmm what to do with that bear out there um, I don't really care about up or fixing my 75%. I, I fixed a lot of this stuff last night. Um, a lot of my, right before I went to bed, a lot of it was on its way out. So I had the sewing kit. Oh, sounds like the weather's getting nice. I do have to travel. Okay. See, hopefully, I cannot get eaten. There'd you go. No time for standing around staring. Yeah, I figured it'd be really, really cold right away. There he is. He's going home. Okay, there should be a few sticks up in here. It always usually is. 
I'm going to take the other way up to the signal tower instead of taking the way on the on the right. Um, I can evade that bear. I'm not too worried about him or that wolf that's over on that side. But it, um, because of my plans for my future, I want to... Um, uh, I haven't picked up any rocks yet. You're lucky. Uh, my plan for the future, though, is I really want to... Uh, down through this way so the easiest way to do that oh it looks like there's a soda up front at the very least oh there's an entire dinner here pretty much throw a cattail in there and you've got nice food all right quick look around just to make sure i'm not going to get eaten as soon as i step outside um yeah you can go the other way uh, and usually just evade that bear and wolf and sometimes there's a, there'll be a bear up here uh, Which can kind of slow you down But after that you get up to signal hill feel Okay, it's gonna be You just concentrate on the walk ahead because You can walk around up there. Right up here is your rope climb. Now, right up here, too, is the bear cave, so. I ought to be a little bit cautious. He just doesn't come poking up over top of that ridge. Look, I'm stumbling out of his cave right now. I'm going to actually duck. Let's take my time coming up on here because it sure would be a shame to just suddenly get eaten here. Okay, it looks like he's not coming out, so that's good. I'm going to ignore all the uh, herbal stuff. Let's grab a rock. Okay. Head on up, shall we? He's feeling strong, good, a little bit cold. Come on, blocking from the wind. Yes. Big mountaineering rope. All right. How bad is the frostbite? In the okay, good. I can live with that. Now, sometimes up here there's a wolf. And as long as, of course, as you see him first. Of course, he sees you at a good distance. Usually things work out in your favor. And you can get past them. He's getting tired. So we'll get up here, loop the... Uh, Radio tower, and I think that's a good start to a uh, Pleasant Valley run. Can't believe that corpse had a uh, two plane right next to it, though. That was. That was pretty good. You gotta be careful of his choke point, because this is a bear route. I don't know exactly what I'd do other than panic, maybe whimper a bit, and uh, get mauled by a bear. But, uh, I 
pry bar. Okay. So yeah. Don't know what I'd do there if I encountered a bear. Well, this is great. I can see the bounty of food right when I step in the door. Peaches, sardines, coffee. I love, love coffee. Um, sometimes there's a uh, hammer here underneath this chair. It's really good light for, uh, for looting. Sometimes there's some combat pants under here. Very rare, uh, not rare, but very nice to have. They show up fairly often in that spot. Nobody was making a tea. Second sewing kit, that's nice. So I got a flare. These are all things that are pretty important. Now you can, wow. You get some good clothing items out of here, usually. You know, a couple of, couple of things. So, I'm hoping for gloves. Oh, third time's a charm. Or it's not very charming at all. Okay, well, so far it hasn't been the best signal hill run I've ever made. Over here, do we have anything special? No. Hmm. Okay, well. We'll check these drawers. There's usually good clothing items up here, but not this time. So I'm going to still hope for gloves, that I find gloves in the, uh, really nothing, eh? Huh. I'm going to hope that I find gloves in the barn. Um. That is what his next plan is, is to uh, deploy that mountaineering rope and then go down from there. Do I want to do that? I'm going to deploy the mountaineering rope for sure, but I might actually just take that uh, the way I normally come up back down just to uh, check for any birch saplings on the way. Oh, cloth, why not? That's that's always nice. Bunch of cloth. Yeah, I was hoping for uh, boots or uh, gloves or some combat pants, but nothing. So, all right, well, we'll see you on the next video when I uh, get out of here and uh, head down back down to the farmstead, probably warm up, and then, of course, from there, go to the barn. Barn to the uh, rural town site, rural town site to the mine to coastal highway, and uh, I'll do some some tool making in coastal highway, or not coastal highway in uh, in um, Desolation Point. That's the one I'm looking for. So, so yeah, that was. Uh, that was my run up to Signal Hill and my start on on day one. So we got day two of our journal and zero days survived. 
Um, that'll soon that'll tick over to one. Probably right after this blizzard. So see you next time and thanks for thanks for watching. And uh we'll continue our Pleasant Valley start uh, from there. Alright. Talk to you later.